Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a dread count. Uh, if you're wondering about, I mean, first off my dreads, cause they're, I don't even know what's going on, honestly. I'm actually really excited to count my dreads because I haven't actually counted them at all completely, like not off camera, especially not on camera cause you guys haven't seen a video on it. But I've been wanting to count these ever since I started them. And actually Kellen, my son asked me, how many dreadlocks do you have? And I didn't have an answer for that. So I wanna count them today so that you guys know. And just so you know, this is a significantly smaller amount than the amount that I had the first time I had my dreadlocks. The first time I had dreads, I had 72 dreadlocks initially and at the end of my journey i believe i had 53 including the congos so i had a bunch that ended up congoing up and then at the root i had 53 and at the tips i had 73 if that makes sense but in today's video like i said i'm going to be counting them if you guys are wondering about my glasses why they're tinted i explained it on the video to where i showed you guys how to instantly lock up dreadlocks especially with my hair type i explained all that in that video so if you're asking where i got my glasses or wondering why i wear these tinted ones I explain it in that video, so you can check it out. The link to that will be in the description. But you guys, let's get started. I'm actually pretty stoked on doing this. I'm not sure how many I have. I'm gonna take a guess right now. Comment down below how many think I have in my head. I know a lot of people are like, yo, he has like seven dreads or 12, and I really don't know. So I hope it's over 20, but we'll see. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 20, I'm gonna say 22. I really hope it's 22. Actually, I'm gonna say 17 because I don't think it's that much. But anyway, let's get started. So this is one, you got two, and some of them are like separating. So I have to keep that in mind. One, two, three, four. A lot of these are starting to lock up. Four, like this one is definitely tightening up. So that's four, five, six, seven. So I have more than seven. So that's for everyone out there who said I had seven dreadlocks. I have more than seven, so I'm really excited. I'm really excited about that. So that's seven. A lot of these are starting to congo up. They're connecting at the roots. Um, eight. Nine. 10. I'm actually leaning more towards 23 now. Yeah, these are starting to connect at the root. That was 10, right? Okay. 11. 12. So this whole side is 12? Am I missing any? Yeah, this is 12. 12 right here. I might have 24. Maybe I have the same on each side. But this is 12 dreadlocks right here. I'm filling the ones in the back and they are tightening up a whole bunch. And that's pretty scary. But it should be encouraging to you guys. Like I've only had these in for a month. And if you take the steps that I did, and obviously you don't wanna have your hair like mine the way it looks, it's because I pull it up all the time. A lot of you already have that knowledge of not pulling it up all the time. And I'll tell you this straightforward, that don't pull your hair up all the time, especially in the beginning stages, because it will start to form and like kind of tighten up and be way up here and being bent and all kinds of stuff like that. If you do not pull up your hair, um, it will have better results. And I could obviously do that, but there's certain events that I go to and stuff like that, that I just prefer my hair to be up no matter what hairstyle I have. So that's 12 on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this off with a hair tie. Just to explain everything about not wearing a hair tie and I threw one in, anyway. So that's 12. So let's go. I'll show you one that completely fell out, but I'm still hoping for it. So this one right here, if I can find it correctly. Yeah, right here. This one's like completely out. And it, as you know, it is a temple dread. A temple dread is a dread that is around your temple area. And I want all of you guys to know is that the hair on your temples or around your temples or on your front hairline is the lightest hair you will have. Typically the temples, especially for men, is that the temples of your hair typically are the ones that will recede on most men. And, or I wouldn't say recede, but thin out or just thinner in general. Even if you're a kid, no matter what, that hair is always thinner than the hair that is on the back or on the sides. So for anyone who is wondering why their temple dreads are skinnier or not locking up, it's because that hair isn't as thick as the rest of your hair. So this is a prime example of a temple dread not working out. 
and you just have to pay more attention to those in the temple area. Hopefully that explains everything. So 13, 14. So you can see how this one's looser too. Um, 15. And this one, just a step behind, is tighter, just because it's not on the hairline or the temple. Uh, 16. 17. This one's tighter too, because it's on the side. This one's 16, right? Not 17. Okay, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, no way, there's no way I got that correct. I literally guessed and I got the number correct at the very beginning. I'm telling you, like 100%, I did not count these, I promise. I can tell you 100% that I did not count these before I started. So yeah, 22, I have 22 dreadlocks in total and I'll show you the ones on the back that and you'll probably be able to see it on camera that they are locking up and they're tightening up a whole bunch like oh, I'll show you some that are tightened up a lot like these down here are tightening up this one especially I can feel it really tight even at the root like yeah they're just getting really tight so far and this one too is getting really tight. But all this does come with patience. Um, now I'll tell you why my dreadlocks look like this. Obviously I explained a little bit. It's because I've been pulling my hair up all the time. And if you do not pull your hair up all the time, you'll have better results. But I just so happen to pull my hair up all the time. Like I said, just because I go to certain events that I like them to be pulled up. But you guys, that is the dread count video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to go check out the other videos I mentioned so there's better explanation behind what exactly is going on so you're not surprised in these new videos that are gonna be coming out very soon. Quick little update, I need to get a fade. I'm actually gonna get, cut my hair today and create a video on that. And a lot of you guys have recommended me to put all of my haircut videos on Instagram. I'm mostly gonna start sharing those on my Instagram TV because a lot of you have been enjoying those on Instagram. So I'm gonna drop all those on there. Uh, most likely just a short version of what I'm dropping on the channel. Just kind of a time-lapse process of the whole haircut. As you guys, like I said, have been enjoying those. So that video is gonna be coming out very soon because I just did get some new clippers and I'm really excited to actually use those. I've tested them out already and I really like them, but I did just a short taper fade and it turned out really well actually. Um, gave myself a taper fade I think three days ago, so it's probably already grown in a little bit but I'm excited to give myself a high top fade and really looking forward to that. And I'm really excited to start releasing those videos on Instagram TV. But you guys, that is today's video. I need to go figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair because it is getting wild. I'm gonna be doing quite a bit to my hair today. And I think, well, I explain the reasoning behind why I do so much to my hair in the video of me doing uh, the crochet hooking or the instant dreads on uh, my dreadlocks. I explain that in that video. So if you guys have questions about any of that stuff, I recommend you to go check out that video and I explain all of it very thoroughly. And it is more towards the end, so if you just wanna get the answer to that, you can skip to the end. I'm not the person to be mad if you just skip to the end to see what's going on. Um, so you can go check that out. But I do know one thing is that a lot of my roots are starting to combine and I need to take care of that. And there is a lot just going on. Like if you can look from the top that I can feel everything getting tighter. I'm not sure how everything looks because I haven't really observed my hair in a while, but it feels really cool. It's really interesting. Like this is really tight. A lot of them are just really tight overall. But you guys, that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me that you guys actually take the time out of your day to watch my videos, especially if you make it to the end or if you leave a comment or you like the video. I love reading your guys' comments. A big highlight on last week is being able to read your guys' comments on my video of me doing 100 push-ups a day for 30 days. You guys are so encouraging and that meant the world to me. Seeing all those amazing comments from all you amazing people means so much to me when I see stuff like that. So I wanna encourage you guys on all my videos, if you watch them and you feel a certain way about them, please comment down below, even if it is negative or if it is positive, I love that stuff. But other than that guys, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.